what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about some more sad news in hip-hop. I know, man. These stories, man, they keep coming. They keep coming. They keep coming. It seems like every other day, every other week, it's another rapper with his own individual story of somebody taking his life or being involved in a shooting or something of that nature, right? Man, it goes both ways. You got rappers getting locked up. You got rappers, you know, getting taken out. And I hate to say it that harshly because it, I should really say they're untimely demise, man. Because, you know, out of respect for for the fallen person, or no matter what their profession was, it still is a person. And he's still, you know, his loved ones are still out there. And I have the utmost condolences and respect anytime I do one of these stories. So please don't get lost on that fact. Now, today, we're going to be talking about a rapper by the name of Obi Noir. Now, Obi Noir is an interesting case because dude seemed like he had his hand in a lot of different things. And when I say a lot of different things, I'm talking about positive things. Now, it's weird because the way that the story plays out, you would think he was a rumble tumble in the streets kind of rapper, but dude was more on the positive note. Now, before we get into the story and go over all the specifics about this horrible, horrible situation, do me a favor, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about Obi Noir. Now, Obi Noir was a basketball player slash activist slash rapper, man, and dude really got into his bag lately on the rapping, on the rapping side of the game because of the untragic uh, incidents that happened like, you know, last year. And when I talk about last year, tragic incidents, you know what I'm talking about as far as the whole uprising and things like that. I got to be very careful what I say here. You know what I mean? And I'm going to just keep it funky with y'all. But a lot of that, man, propelled him towards, you know, going into those three different directions. Excuse me, those two different directions. Now, dude, according to all news sources, was a talent on the basketball court. He was from the same projects and, you know, he's cool with a lot of people from Houston that you would know, you know, on a day to day basis or excuse me, uh, that are household names. Cats like Trader Truth. Now, we know that Trader Truth is big on the activism, big on the community uh, help type tip. And it seemed like Obi Noir was in the same vein of things, man. Dude seemed like he had his head on straight as far as that. And he looked like he was undeniably a Houston hustler. Now, a lot of Houston cats have that hustle in them. And it's just one of those things that go hand in hand. You know, in order to be a rapper in Texas, they had to learn a long time ago. You had to be an individual and do it on your own. And they've always excelled at doing that and kept it close to, you know, home. Now, dude looked like he was really on his in his activism bag when tragedy struck this week. Now, this is the story coming from the Houston Chronicle, and the title says this. It says, rapper and activist Obi Noir involved in fatal shooting in downtown Houston. Now, what it doesn't say is that he was the victim of the shooting, because just yesterday, and you know, man, news, news travels at different speeds. Just yesterday, Obi Noir was identified following a shooting in downtown Houston. Now, Obi Noir's real name is Xavier Robertson, and he was basically, he's listed here as an up-and-coming rapper and former overseas basketball player. Now, we ain't even got to that part yet, but dude, as far as a basketball player, has done some great things in the overseas basketball leagues, man. And in the community activist vein, man, he's been doing some real big things too. Now, according to the city of Houston, and the reporters there, they say that witnesses saw Mr. Robinson running down the street after hearing gunfire in the distance. A vehicle drove around the block as if chasing Robinson and stopped at the above address. Now, when they say above address, I believe they mean the, the address of where his body was found. And two unknown males exited the vehicle and fired shots at Robinson who collapsed in the street. Now, so basically, okay, let me break that down. So some cats were chasing him ran him down, and then uh, opened fire on him until he collapsed in the street, man. Sad situation. You don't, I don't know what he had going on, you know, in his personal life. Judging by the pictures like that, I mean, that they're, that are out there, and a lot of the things that they're saying as far as on, like, a lot of the fan pages and, you know, on the social media sites for hip-hop and forums and stuff like that, it seemed like it was an overwhelming positive response about who he was and how people received him. And it's, it's odd that even cats who are just positive, man, 
who seem like they're trying to do good stuff in hip hop are, are man, they're meeting the same demise as rappers who talk all that street stuff. It's like, man, if you're a rapper, it's almost like open season on you for real. Now, I heard Sai High the Prince say that, and I know I always use Sai High the Prince as a reference sometimes, but when he talked about his shooting situation, he detailed something similar to this. Like, he didn't know the dudes who or know why, but the dudes ran him down and tried to take him out. And it seemed like Obi Noir met that same fate, except the shooters in this instance were, were actually successful. Now, Obi Noir gained a big reputation as being an activist in the city of Houston. Now, during the hurricane and during the uprising and stuff last year or whatnot, you always had Trader Truth as an activist. People always touted Trader Truth because of his activism and how he took it personal to do things on the good side for, for Houston, you know? Even though he's had his own situations, I've done videos in the past where I talked about Trader Truth and how, you know, a lot of people, you know, tried to ban him and ban his music, but he, he persevered, man. And he pushed he pushed the, uh, the envelope when it came to activism and his community loved him for it. And he's been shown a lot of respect and a lot of love nationally. You know what I mean? When everything went down last year, you saw him on the news with everybody else along with other basketball players. And Obi Noir was actually in all of those scenes, man. So this is a crazy situation, man. This, just to say the least. Now he gained, like I said, he gained a reputation as an activist to the extent that they even called him the East Texas, uh, his nickname, excuse me, was one of his nicknames was the East Texas Nipsey Hustle. So they said that he was so big on the community activism that they compared him to the late great Nipsey Hustle, which is nice, man. Now, Trader Truth took to social media and, you know, expressed his uh, sympathies and condolences for Obi Noir losing his life and basically put a post out that said this. Now, in the post, he used some colorful language, but it said this, and I'm going to post some of it right here. In this post, you can tell that Trader Truth was really hurt in a deep place by this news because he even posted a picture of Obi Noir, and he said this. He said, man, just lost my niece lyric days ago. Now I just got the call about you, Zay. You ain't deserved the way they done you. Broken heart emoji. Rest easy, King, at Obi Noir, man. And... A lot of people, you know, are liking the post. A lot of people are, are, are sending their condolences. And, you know, it's, it's just a sad situation, man. Horrible, horrible situation. Especially when you think somebody in their activist bag. You know, when I think activists, I don't always think about these extreme people who do all this wild stuff. You know, I think about people like Trader Truth, man, who literally do what you're supposed to do as a person, as a man in your community, is make sure your community is a better place today than it, it, or excuse me, that you leave it a better place today than it was yesterday, man. And if dude was all on that, I wonder what led to the fact that people are running them down and gunning them down in the middle of the street, man. Come on, man. To be honest, all right. I'm so tired, of, man. I'm not even going, man. So let's continue. So Robinson was also... A great basketball player overseas, man. He played for a Portuguese club, and I can't pronounce this the name. It's like Titanus de Barranquilla. I mean, I don't know Portuguese at all, so I can't. But he was so good that he was like the MVP of the championship tournament for the team in 2018. So dude was recently on a pro basketball roster overseas. So it looks like he took a lot of that money and came back, invested in his rap game, and invested in like clothing lines. If you look at his social media, he had clothing that he was pushing and he had a lot of things that he was invested in, man. So, I mean, it's a all around sad situation. Now, I wasn't familiar with his music and I wasn't familiar with him as an artist, I mean, as an activist, but I can say, you know, from the hip hop community, man, this is a, a terrible situation and a horrible loss. Now, I don't know about the specifics of what went down and I'm sure that information is gonna come out later someday. But today, man, and definitely, man, for his family or anybody who's close to him, my condolences and rest in peace to Obi, Obi Noir. Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. And, man, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.